Hello guys, welcome back to um, Riven Rock channel. So today what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about uh, a very uh, famous product and, and a lot of people been trading this and there are a lot of tons of video out there uh, teaching you how to trade Forex but few actually succeed and I want to start a series uh, that provides an easy guide for you guys to start trading Forex. So I will also provide other guide that you can also learn how to trade options and other products as well. So um, I think Forex is uh, most of people, how most of people approach financial markets. Because we're not talking about like, you know, investment bank traders. We're not talking about like, you know, experts, experts from financial institutions. We're talking about average people. So that's why there are five things you need to know before you start trading your Forex account. And trust me, I know a lot of people mess around with their own trading accounts. And the reason why is not because they, are, like, sometimes they could, you know, make mistakes. They could misjudge the economic situation. But most of the time, they simply, um, they simply do a lot of mistakes. And it's all, like, behavioral factors that leads to... Uh, unfortunate leads to you know losing a lot of money in the forex markets so uh, this video will give you a quick guide so you understand what you know needs to be noticed and you have to keep that in your mind that forex market is a place that you can easily make money and also easily lose a lot of money as well okay so before you jump into trading you need to know about CFD contracts because that's apparently a lot of people when they first approaching financial markets that's the only v available tools you know either you start trading crypto maybe you start trading CF uh, forex CFD products or maybe you start trading uh, stocks I mean, sometimes you start trading with EDFs but it doesn't matter that you have to understand uh, the basic logic behind all these uh, financial instruments so you have to understand that CFD contracts First of all, in a lot of markets, they're highly forbidden, and they they are embedded with leverage. So that's be said, a lot of forex, uh, you know, market maker and brokers, they want you to over trade, they want you to hold your positions, they they want you to make mistakes, so they would just take over your you know margin, and your your a uh, principal. That's how the business operate. So you want to understand. Uh, there are pros and cons of CFD contracts. You can add, you know, insane leverage on CFD contracts. I have seen people using 100 times leverage, people using 200 times leverage. You know, that's when you have a $500, you know, very mini account. Maybe you have start having like 200 bucks, 500 bucks, or maybe, uh, you know, 50 bucks. I've seen brokers that you can start trading with, you know, $30. You know, that's kind of insane. Some brokers would even give you free money so you can start trading immediately. But don't get, don't get me wrong, they, won't, they wouldn't just give you the money because what they want you to do is they want you, you know, you start making good money from first trade and then you start uh, withdrawing money from your deposit, you know, deposit account and your saving account, you start trading, you know, right out back and then you start losing everything. So you have to understand safety contracts and that I'm going to share uh, in the next video the second thing you need to familiarize with the underlying that you're trading you know there are so many products in the forex market there are you know a lot of currency market you know forex trading trading forex is actually meaning that you'll be able to trade a lot of products you'll be able to trade currency products you'll be able to trade indexes you you'll be able to trade you know for example oil and all these kind of commodity related products you know so you need to if you want to you know like we're not saying like uh, all the traders can trade like almost everything that's absolutely wrong like most traders will have their own edge and they focus on one thing they understand so before you start trading at least get a proper lesson before you start trading you need to know about all these fundamentals before you trade and third is you have to set up your profit goal and max risk you know in in the in, in the later um, part of this video, I'm going to explain 
why is it so important to setting up goal and setting up plan for you to trade? Because without this goal and you know you simply don't understand what you're doing, right? You, how do you? I mean, think about that. Like, how do you think? Is it possible for you to make one million dollar, like out of five hundred dollar, like in I don't know in one day? How is that possible, right? I mean, because you, given the fact that you have so, like, like with this small scale of like trading account, it's nearly impossible to, you know, pull that off, right? So you need to have a reasonable profit goal, and you need to you need to understand the max risk that you can bear, and you need to learn how to, you know, accept those risks and take advantage of those risks. So uh, the first big tip is. Don't try to trade everything. As I've been mentioned before, you need to master one product first, right? You start trading with one product, and you familiarize with that product. For example, you're trading like Japanese yen, maybe you're trading dollar yen, and then you, you know, you're kind of getting better and better, and then you understand the logic behind dollar yen, and then you understand what would be the timing factor and how to place those bets, and then increase your, you know. Accuracy level, and then you increase your best quality. You know, sometimes uh, you start, you know, making a lot of bets, but you know, a lot of people start making very, very low quality bets. They start over trading because they don't know what they're doing. So don't try to bet on everything. Don't try to bet on everything all the time. That's the first rule before you jump into forex trading. Second thing is. You are not going to be rich overnight. You have to accept the fact that you are not going to get the Lamborghini right off the back. It's a it's a lengthy process, right? Think about this. If you're maybe 20 years old, I don't care, maybe 30 years old, if you master one skill, it probably take three to five years. And for trading, that's one of the ability that you would definitely want to invest. That you would definitely like to spare, like maybe three to five years. To to master because you're going to, you know, get a lot of upside from it. So that just accept the fact that you're not going to be rich overnight. With that mandate, you know, forget about all these, you know, story how people mine bitcoins and become insane rich, and then how people, you know, getting all these Lamborghini. Getting rich is a long process. Even for those people who start digging bitcoins, start you know mining cryptocurrency. It takes years for them to actually get that kind of profit back. So please give me some patience before you jump into forex market. And you need to know when to pull that trigger, when to trade. Knowing when is the essence of trading because when explains everything. When and how. The third、uh, trading tips is that most traders take calculated risk, and they are not obviously they are not gambling. But there is a very slim line between. You know, gambling and speculating because this is what you know. Most people tend to lie to themselves. They will start gambling and then they start gambling big and then lose big money. They want to big make bigger return. They want to make that kind of return back quickly. So you start lying to yourself. No, I'm not gambling. I'm just speculating. I'm you know, all these kind of bullshit. And and then you you know actually start gambling and then you lose all the money. And the the very important thing is you do not all in. All in. That's very important because you know nothing about financial market. All in is a technique that for the people that who really understand what they're doing, and it's the perfect time they're doing. They're very hundred percent convicted that it's the time to pull that trigger, and that's when and when they you know start all in. So don't ever do that. All in, okay. So the fourth、uh, tip is that forex trading is not an ATM machine. Like I know a lot of videos and a lot of YouTubers, you know, start pitching all these things like, oh, well,、uh, forex trading is such a, you know, good、uh, kind of business. Provide like daily income, or you know, etc. All these kind of, you know, nonsense, right? Because even for the most experienced traders, they make money out of specific moment because you know,、uh, for some products there are some, you know, good timing for good liquidity in the market. It's not. That kind of liquidity and that kind of volatility doesn't happen all the time, so you are, you need to understand you are not building an ATM machine. You what you are going to do is you are going to、um, you are going to trade and then you are going to be you know let these good trading 
hobby become one of your good daily hobbit and then you will become rich like over time in in a light like uh in a lengthy fashion you're not like seeking you know like one day rich that kind of thing even though like trust me i've been rich like several times but then you know um thing is you could lose that kind of profit you could lose that kind of wealth very quickly and then you need to take time it takes a year to train to perfect your skills so please you need to have that patience i understand a lot of people the reason why they join forex market is because the insane leverage and insane opportunities inside i promise you there will be time for you to make money but do not screw up before you had that opportunity okay please the final trading tip is that making good trading plans actually matter a lot and you need to start making trading plans now so a lot of successful traders are having very boring lifestyle i know i know a lot of people like to watch all these youtube video you know like those youtubers stand out and say oh you know like uh this is my lumbo uh, this is my book uh, this is knowledge uh, what kind of kind of sick things you know that let me tell you this a lot of investment bank traders and you know they work for institutions when they retire they are, tend to have a very boring life of course they have happy hour moment you know they start you know talking with other people and then having good lifestyle but they have a very disciplined lifestyle that's why they're boring because they when the trading hours open they when the trades open they they're you know uh, sitting in front of a computer uh, the screen and then you know they have a very boring lifestyle they don't just you know go to party all the time okay so in be able to you know enjoy that you know happy moment in life you need to first be able to go through that discipline moment you need to first go go through that you know kind of tedious lifestyle so you actually learn about trading you know everything about trading and then you get prepared for joining forex market trading so uh, this is the course today that I'm providing you. So please, guys, if you like my uh, presentations, you can subscribe to my channel and also uh, share to other friends. And then, you know, probably you subscribe to my channel and join my membership as well. And please give me a like and then leave your you know comments on the section below. And then we, we can uh, we can, you know, friendly discuss what's happening in the forex market okay so thank you guys for watching i'll see you in next episode goodbye